Delaware rescheduled meeting November 18, 2019. Call to order, roll call, and establishment of quorum. All members present. Duncan, Collins, Bainey? Yes. yes. Consideration of action on the consent agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda. Is there a second? No second. Duncan? Yes. Collins? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Fire department discussion consideration of possible action on A monthly operations and maintenance. On the monthly maintenance operation, we had a battery go bad in 82 uh, that we had bought earlier this summer. They worked it. And uh, 85 had a deal with the carburetor go bad, the parts in, we just have not got it put on yet. So, uh, Discussion consideration on possible action on the fire department. Paying the five thousand per conditions of the agreement from June 13, 2017, for the purchase of the rescue truck. That was something that was discussed between you guys. Whereby knows my feelings bad. I didn't like it when we did it in 2017 because we don't ever ask any other department to purchase their own stuff. And I know of no other fire departments around here that have to buy their own rescue truck. I mean, if we go pay the $5,000, I say we take it out of operation. I mean, it's a great asset to the community, but if that's the way we go, that's the way we go. I mean, I knew the when, I, when, when I voted for it back in 17, I knew that I was going to be outvoted. That's what you got when you got a council vote. That was no more than what we got. And I, I knew there wasn't a chance in hell of me overriding that. I mean, as far as I've ever been on the council, the fire department's never been turned down for anything. And, I mean, they had went and got the $10,000 grant for half of it. And then... As far as I knew, they was either going to get another grant or it was going to come from dinners to pay the other five. Because, I mean, the town doesn't have, I mean, the town didn't have and it doesn't have $10,000 to pay for another truck because we had bought the engine from Coffee or Bill and we had replaced an engine in the other, or a motor for the other engine. We, uh, we paid half the yellow engine. Yeah, I'm saying. And uh, we paid, we got the grant for the motor and the other engine. charge the city on that. I don't remember. I have to go back and look at it. We got it from the Argos Bank. $4,000 and it cost us $3,500 to have it all put in, buy the motor and have it installed. I mean, this would have been a good instance for the Cherokee Nation money to be put back into the fund to help recoup that expense. Is everybody in agreement on that? 2017, who do you give money to? City. Okay. We got it last year. Last year. No, we didn't get it in 2017. We got it in 2018, and then you kept it again this year. 2017, I think you used the Cherokee motion to pay for you guys to fly up there. No. That money come from us out of our yeah. account. <clears throat> and the money before that year was set aside for radios, in which we never did buy them. Because we went to a phone page and deal. Again, I would think that the grant money from the Cherokees from this year, 2019, would have been a way to go back into the general fund to recoup some of that. 
Is that actually a Cherokee grant, or is that just the Cherokee? Saying? It's Cherokee Nation maintenance and operation money that is given to the towns for the fire department usage. It's supposed to go into the general fund. But how come the towns aren't represented? They the have WNI, a specific request of the fire. The W nine is filled out by the town of Delaware that goes into the general fund. It does not. It's not given to the fire. department fire associations. Well, then somebody needs to tell the Cherokees when they present it because I've been to several dinners and that's not the way it's presented. It's given to the, the town for the fire department. The other departments keep theirs. I've done the talk. Yeah. Well, we're obviously kissing up a wrong tree or something. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful we have a fire department. I think we have one of the better fire departments that are that is in the area, and I hope I never have to call on their services. I hope not either. But you know, this was an agreement that was made in 2017, and if we want to make the motion to remove the five thousand dollars and reduce the budget, then we can do that. But you're still taking away from the fire department. And the fire department still without takes away from the town our, money. Our, 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 all right. Without our fire department, we don't have a town. <laughs> it even states that. State statute laws. Without the town, you don't have the fire department. you got to have both. The fire department the operates under the umbrella of the town. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if you don't have a fire department, then what are you going to do? Nobody's asking for the fire department to go away. This is just... Um, what I'm saying, though, if we if we okay this to take this out of the, the run fund or whatever you want to call it from the fire department, you're actually hurting the fire department by taking money from them. Okay, the grants that come in to supplement that, wouldn't you think those would need to go back into the general fund as well? The year before on that, what that Cherokee deal, I wrote on the envelope, that was set. I said, use this against the purchase of the fire truck. I do remember that. I think I got a picture of it somewhere. The year before, the year right after the truck was bought. I think this is a pointless conversation. All right, go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, it's, uh, I mean, table this for next month. There's no sense of table. Let's the same all the way. It might as well just be either have the fire department pay for it or not. I mean, it's just, there's no sense to keep tabling because we're going to get to the same point every time. I mean, was there any dinners or anything stating that they were for the purchase of the rescue truck to recoup no. the funds? No. no. That All was just operations. That's it. So it's done been paid for by the city already though, right? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> but it didn't come out of any it, of the budgets. This was an agreement that was made for the in thirty months that the fire department paid five thousand dollars towards the purchase. The grant paid ten thousand, the city paid five thousand, and the fire department was going to pay five thousand. But the city ended up paying the ten thousand and the grant up paid front. ten thousand yes, up front. Up front. And then the fire department was going to reimburse five thousand. <coughs> the grant was ten thousand. The city paid five thousand. <coughs> the city paid the truck only cost twenty thousand. The city paid the full yes. ten thousand. The fire department was okay. going to reimburse five thousand in thirty months. I know as a standing from the side as a citizen from this last ordeal, I know this made a lot of people mad. A lot of people. Because the city wanted us wanted the fire department to pay for it. So if if it was me, I say we done ate it, let's get it over with, be done with. I, 
like I said, it's in a I can see the city's standpoint, I can see the fire department's standpoint, but the agreement was still made. They agreed to it. And I mean, it was okay, great. You've been on yeah. the board that night. That's I you. mean, we know which way Lynn goes. We know yeah. which way Shannon goes. Right. I didn't have a hell's chance. Okay, no, but, no. but at that point, you should have voted no. You, yeah, you should have said it, no. It was going to go through two to one, but your point would have been made. Right. But that, that's... It, the fire chief to, to do it right, you have to voice to, your opinion. But then, then again, now you so, you okay. Okay, so now I'm in the same boat. I've right. got yep. a fireman's yep. mother on the board. I've got a fireman on the board. So it doesn't matter which way I go. I'm outvoted. Right. So are there any conflicts of interest? But if I'm not mistaken, that night they agreed on that loan, on that, that they agreed that they would pay that. Yeah, the fire chief agreed yeah. to, to the... Are we on citizens' time or we have a No, I'm just getting my voice. I, I mean, right. as, as far as, I mean, the fire chief agreed to the terms, the council agreed to the terms. Do you got the funds to pay it? <coughs> All right. And this is shut down the operation of this truck because you're not going to have the money to operate it from now on. Go ahead and buy your five. Well, I think before we do anything rational, I, I think we'll just drop it and be over with myself. I wasn't part of this. I heard about this later on through the line, just like all the citizens here in Delaware did. And there was a lot of them very upset after this deal. Who were they mad at? Hmm? Who were they mad at? <clears throat> they was mad that the, that was even agreed upon. That shouldn't have never, we should have just, the city should have paid for it and went on. Why didn't they come up here and voice their opinion? It's because at that point in time, there was a lot of meetings and stuff that people didn't know was happening. But there was never happened. any meetings that yeah. nobody knew what was happening. The council meetings are posted. The and they said it was here every Tuesday. single one of them. Okay, like the election meeting for my spot that I got. Nobody knew about that. Well, it was posted. It was posted. It wasn't posted 72 hours before the meeting. It was posted in the appropriate time. Because I walked over here for almost a month checking that door. And nothing was ever put on that door. Nothing was ever put on that fire department. 48 hours. Are we talking about, what are we talking about? Yeah, the right. election or are we talking about this Well, I'm talking truck? about, that's, what, that's the reason why a lot of people does not show up to our meetings because they don't. They've know been on the second time. month, second Tuesday of every yes. month. They're on the bottom of the water bills every month. Yes. There, there's a list in the newsletter every month. It's posted in the window 24 hours ahead of time. You... At that point, that's what I'm trying to explain though. At that point in time, there was a lot of people that did not know about that meeting until it happened. I agree. But, I but think see, this is this is what the problem is. The fire chief, the fire department, brought it to the council for as they a proposition. Already had a grant and they, done. Yeah, they brought it to the council as a proposition. If you wanted people here to hear your proposition, no, I mean it's not it's not up for us to say hear ye, hear ye. Everybody in town, the fire department's wanting a new truck. Come and see what you think about it. I mean, this was a proposition that the fire department brought to the city. And already and, had their grant. And money. already, yeah, it was. You, you guys are what the ones that knew about it. It was a donation. And I, I will say, I wish we did have more community involvement. I wish there was a lot more people that would come to the meetings and ask questions and get more involved with what's going on. Not with just the fire department, with everything in the city. We have issues in this town that needs to be addressed and we're not getting the help from 
the law enforcement or property owners. My suggestion is, if they got the five thousand dollars to pay, pay it, and then shut down the trucks to bare minimum until you can recoup that money. Because you don't want to go over budget. I mean, they're still operating that budget that is assigned to them, but they won't be by the end. Of, all it takes is one wildfire. Right. One big wildfire. That's all we We learned that with. The last one we had. Yeah, November 16th. Yep. Are you in agreement with that? Reducing our budget? No, paying the $5,000 if you've got it. And then, like I said, shut down the operations to bare minimum. I'm not going to shut the down town operations. pays for the operations of those trucks. They pay for the fuel. They pay for the insurance. They pay for upkeep. So there would be no, it, there wouldn't be no shutting the trucks down. Okay, so they haven't bought tires in years? A couple of years they haven't. Okay, so I mean, we need every tires. invoice that you submit is paid. You're right, and I know I got my ass chewed the last time I went and bought tires on a weekend in an emergency deal, and I quit buying tires too with you guys. We've been buying them. We bought every tire on that yellow engine, and we bought every tire on 82 and 86. And as far as I know, any emergency, anything over $500 is supposed to have approval. What do you do when you have? What do you do? I mean, on the weekend. I mean, I'm sure my phone's available, just, Kathy's is available. I mean, emergencies do arise. I mean, that's what a fire department is, but. <coughs> do we want to table this for next month, or? I'd like, I'd like just to make a motion that we do away with it. No sense to keep tabling it because we're going to keep coming to the same deal. Sir, are you making a motion? Yep. State it. I make a motion that we go ahead and drop the 5000 from the bar department thing. Bainey made the motion to drop the $5,000 payment reimbur reimbursement payment to the city. Is there a second? Motion died for lack of a second. Discussion, consideration, and possible action of old business. T. St. Grant progress report. The play equipment have, has been ordered and it comes out of the T. St. Grant money. And that was an equipment order approved two, two months ago. The extension on the T. St. Grant has been accepted. It's a 90-day extension. It's just a time extension because to allow us to finish getting the rest of our projects done. Did you all get the colors changed on the playground equipment? Mm -hmm. It's uh, got the green in it. Okay. Did they did I put the color palette in there with it or just the paperwork? No, it's got the green in it though. It's got the portion of a though red, tan, and green in it. That leaves just the, did they say the delivery time? 
No, I haven't gotten the email saying what time, how long it, it's going to take to get that. Community building addition. The lumber has been purchased, and there is the for the community building. Ethan, you want to tell them about the? We uh, they delivered the trusses there at the water plant. Uh, me and Kathy run up to Edna, up to S and S, and got the rest of the lumber and everything that was on the list. The plates is all laid out. The holes are drilled in the slab. Uh, just here pretty quick. We're going to go ahead and try to get the wall stood up and get it, start getting it dried in. We've got to, uh, we've we got bids on the uh, tin to put uh, the tin on it. Uh, Q was the cheapest. Down there, no water. Uh, we've got order either Tuesday or Wednesday, and then it'll come in just in a few days. So I think she's going to call in tomorrow morning and see if we can get it ordered so that when we get it decked and everything, we can go ahead and get tin on it and not just have the, the wood exposed for any longer than we have to. Uh, so hopefully in the next in the next week or so, hopefully it'll be... Pew came in at $2.70. Is that linear foot? Yes, a linear foot. Um, T. H. Rogers was three dollars and thirty cents a linear foot, and S. N. S. was two seventy six a linear foot. So, he was the. So, with with you having the color sheet, what we was thinking about was going ahead and doing the gray like we have on the the north end of the building, and then go ahead and put a white roof on it, just kind of be just a gray and a white. Uh, and what we talked about doing was since the west side has the uh, patches on it where the uh, air conditioners and everything was in the walls and it's been hit and everything, we was thinking about just going ahead and doing the west wall the same with new tin and having it all done at the same time instead of splicing it out of the corner. Now the, the back wall between the store, uh, we we want to put the uh, the deal's up to keep people from walking back and forth because the air conditioner is still going to sit back here, keep people from being able to get back here. They're also writing on the side of the building and tearing bricks down and everything else. So uh, we've talked to Boone's fine with that. In fact, he said that he'd help do that. Uh, that's been um, six, eight months. Or yeah, six, eight months ago was the last time we talked about it. But that's that's kind of where we was at. It, I mean, is that is the colors all right with you guys? I mean, we never had had talked about, I mean, I guess we could go with purple and pink, I don't care. Well, it would unify, keep this building in the, and the, and the, the big building. And, the big building so. and you said it's the ash gray? Uh, I think that is the closest one. You'd have to look at it better in light, though. You need a motion for that? Sure. Make a motion to go ahead and buy the tin to enclose the addition using Richard, Richard Pugh for the, what was it, two something? Which, 270 a linear foot. 270 a linear foot. Which I'm not for sure on the, the, uh, the price deal. Because whenever I give the board an estimate on what it was going to cost, the tin and everything was in it. But we're way below that because what I had estimated for the materials would come in way, way below what I'd estimated for just a closing the tin. So, but I had just, I got prices. I didn't shop around for the, the lowest price. I just got an estimate. Duncan made the motion. Is there a second? Do you want me to reread the motion? Purchase the metal from Richard Pugh to enclose the addition to the community building at 270 a linear foot. I'll second. Duncan? Yes. Collins? Yes. 
Bain? Yes. We don't have anything on Bart Nett's not here. No updates. Number six, discussing consideration on any new business. PSO came by and they went through the city hall and fire department and this building and they're go going to come in and replace all the light fixtures with this, yeah they're, now they're gonna, not in the bay because you've already switched them out to the leds they're gonna i don't think they're going to do the whole fixture they're just going to retrofit retrofit and put new bulbs in and so they're going to have more energy efficient and, lighting in both the buildings and they're also going to be the totally their cost outside lights they're going to go ahead and replace them and put the face mount building lights on I think they're doing it for all of the towns. Yeah, they are. They was actually leaving here and going to Lenapol to see about doing Lenapol that day. Any other new business? Citizens done? Oh yeah, we need to do something about the dogs. <laughs> I'm going to bring this up. I don't know how many more times, but I've lost 14 chickens. Janice has lost five rabbits. Tammy's lost five rabbits or six rabbits over her house from these dogs' dicks up on Elm Street. I think in the past we've been told to call the sheriff's department if they're endangering they people won't, or right, wildlife. They won't do nothing unless they're physically attacking somebody and it has to be to the point where they're at the, going at the heads or the neck to, before they'll do anything about it. If they were on your property and they from your livestock, you had the right to shoot them. Yep. Well, some of them are smart enough. They don't. They bounce off my fence and spook my chickens. My chickens fly over the fence. <laughs> well, I suggest getting a gun. You can't shoot them when they're on somebody else's property doing that. If they're, if they're been killing your chickens while they're after killing the chickens, I think I'd be shooting the chickens and the dogs. Shoot the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shoot the chickens. 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 Shoot the Also, um, No What a Can is presenting a Narcan training on Thursday, November 21st, between 6 and 7, here at the community building. Uh, during this session, participants will gain an overall understanding of the opiate problem affecting Oklahoma, understand how opiates work, and learn how to identify an opiate overdose. Participants will learn how to administer the life-saving nasal spray Narcan, receive a free Narcon kit, and learn about work happening across the state to combat this horrible academic affecting state. The training is being provided by the Cherokee Nation. They will also be giving away a $50 gift card, and they um, will have cookies and just refreshments, tea and coffee. I'll make a motion to it. Under citizens time, Delaware Fire Department is having their uh, annual Christmas parade and Santa visit on December the 14th at 2 o'clock. So the Santa will be here. During the visit and after the visit, there'll be candy and cookies and hot chocolate. First, second, third place prizes for the best decorated float that comes to the to the uh, parade. Now, everybody, everybody come. December 14th uh, at 4? No, 2. 2. I'm going to pause for 11 hours at uh, 2. Town of Delaware Public Works Authority rescheduled meeting November 18th. Call to order, roll call, and establishment form. Duncan? Yes. Colin? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Consideration of consent agenda. Go back to vote people. Second. Duncan? Yes. Collins? Yes. Bain? Yes. 
report from the water sewer department? The only thing that I'd really like to emphasize <coughs> is people need to leave their lids on their water meters. Uh, it's that time of the year where they're going to start freezing and we've got we've got several people in town that have leaks. They take the lid off, turn their meter on and off, and leave the lid off. So when the, when the meter's freezing bust, it's just it's a bad situation all the way around. So uh, other than that, we it's been kind of you know just trying to get things ready for winter. Uh, I've, I've tried to make contact with everybody, you know, that has their lids off. Uh, we've had a couple of boxes that's been hit that we've got to go back and, and dig up now and fix. But uh, other than that, has the leak been addressed? On North end of town. I, I actually knocked on the trailer house and, and caught them and explained to them what was going on. Uh, we set a new meter and they hooked up to it with PEX with a compression coupling and it keeps blowing off. Uh, so far they've used, I think we're somewhere around 19,000 gallons of water in one leak. Uh, when I got to town that morning, it was already running down through Elevator Street to the railroad tracks, and it happened from on the north end of town. So uh, uh, I turned it off, and they just, I just, I'd never made contact with anybody because there wasn't anybody around. And I don't know, what was it, about a week later, it happened again. And uh, I finally, I caught somebody and told them, hey, don't, don't even turn it back on until you fix it. So every about once a day, I make a trip up through there to make sure something's not blowed off again. But when it dumped the 19,000 gallons of water, that was kind of over a one night because it was running wide open. And I get to the water plant, and things aren't where they should be. So uh, you know, and, and the line was is, is exposed. They never have covered it up. So we we made contact with them. It's it's actually a young. A young guy, young couple, I think, that's, that's in there. I, I just don't think they, they know. So. Send them a bill for 19000 uh, They They believe they've gotten a bill for 19000 oh, yeah, really? Uh, yeah. yeah. The behind Weavers, Suzanne's. Yeah, they're where the hole is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just going to go cover it up. I was afraid we had another leak and there's why I left it all open because it's just the way that line is, so. I just know with it getting cold and yeah. Yeah. people walking around. I, I went by there today and actually looked at that. It didn't fall in, so. And thank you for filling in I, said holes. Well, I, I should have said that on the, on the town side of it. Uh, I did go around town and, and uh, Fill in some of the holes where uh, we were getting some major holes in the road. Uh, I was able to go over on Cherry Street where they put 18 inches of gravel in the middle of the road, still a little gravel, and put in a few of the holes. So, discussion, consideration, and possible action on any old business. Um, I did receive the new purchase order from Cherokee Nation for the sewer grant, so. Whenever Dwayne is ready to roll on that, we we have the new purchase order for them to be able to reimburse or pay any invoices that come in. And when Dwayne was up here last time, uh, the engineer, I mean the survey crew, had surveyed the right manholes, but they sent him the old plat. And we was trying to get that all straightened out. He finally got hold of the guy that done it, <coughs> and he just clicked the deal and didn't upgrade his uh, maps whenever he sent it to him. So I, th I think Dwayne has it all straightened out. Are they going to have to come up here and resurvey? I uh, he hasn't said, but that is to complete that sewer project the, 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 where we went to the railroad tracks. Discussion, consideration of any new business. We've discussed this before, that 
it's imperative that we get signage on the city truck and anything that you all have to go around the houses because it's getting to the day and age when people don't know, always know who's coming on their property and there's been a couple of instances where city workers have been shot at and we need to get that done. That way we'll know where the truck's at. People can easily identify it and be, you know, same way with the golf cart. But when we had the red truck, it was reported that I was in Tulsa and everything else when I was in Delaware. So it's like, they just, they, just see a, they just see a truck with some type of a sign that's close to it. I mean, I agree with the instance that we did have next door. That, that was scary. Yes, that's what I say. We do need to. That was scary. Uh, I would like to possibly put it on the windows and not put it on the uh, the paint. Okay. Yeah, put it the back glass. Yeah, back glass or the backside glass or something. You know, get it. it. It's just if you put them, put it on the paint, yeah. and then later on it start peeling and the paint yeah. comes off and it's just. Yeah. 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 Has anybody ever asked y'all for your IDs or anything? Mm -mm. No, but. That's, a, that's another thing. I mean, that's where we're headed. So. I probably need to look at that. I think we should take a about that too. Do so. I need to make a motion on? No, no. that's new business. You can't. It'll be on the agenda for next month. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Citizens. Oh. Citizens time. Make a motion to adjourn. Second.